Hi everyone, this is Blake Anderson and in this video I want to go through my setup with my Zoom F3 uh, recorder. I'm going to show you how I use the Rode Wireless Go 2 mic uh, connected to the Zoom F3 as well as my shotgun mic, the DTS Mic 2 that I connect uh, as well to the recording. In this video I'm going to show you how I use the app from Zoom, the uh, F3 uh, controller app and I'm going to show you how you can remotely uh, view your audio and listen to your audio on your headphones connected to the recorder and you can also um, monitor the audio you can um, just do some cool things with the app so in this video I'm going to show you step by step my workflow of capturing both uh, uh, wireless audio into the zoom recorder as well as a direct connected uh, shotgun mic into the recorder. So the first thing you're gonna do is when you open up uh, the Zoom F3 and you have the Bluetooth device that you have to purchase separately, uh, when you've in put, put that into the device, what you're gonna do is it's gonna come up with this menu here and you're gonna click uh, down here to F3 control and you're gonna enter into uh, the control. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna search, you know, Bluetooth and it's gonna to connect to your iPhone or Android or uh, your iPhone. And as you see here, it's connected to uh, the app. So what I'm gonna do is gonna click there. And that way the iPhone app and the Zoom F3 is connected. And so what I'm going to make sure I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, um, you know, micro SD card into the Zoom F3. This way I can record audio. And then I'm going to be able to record on this uh, Zoom F3. What it's doing now is it's recording both on the Rode Wireless Go 2, which is what I'm recording on right now. So I have a lav mic connected to me uh, here and the Rode, you know, go to uh, the recorder here is uh, going into the converter that I picked up um, online. So it's, I think, a very uh, nice setup, I would say. And then this shotgun mic uh, is connected as well. And so it's recording. And then on the, um, you know, on the app, the Zoom F3 app, what you can do is you can record both audio, you see both audio tracks. And let's say I wanted to stop recording. I could also um, you know, stop recording that way. And so that's cool. So you can start recording on your device. So I'll show that again. So what you can do is you can actually on your Zoom F3 app, as you can see here, is you can see your recording of both channels. You can stop and start recording. Know, straight from the app. You can also listen to the audio tracks uh, and you know, go through each audio track. You can mark them. Uh, you can also, you know, let's say you just wanted to hear one track, you can actually go into that track itself and um, you know, I guess listen to it louder. So you can have your headphones connected to your recorder, which I've done, and then you can uh, listen to it or just, I guess, observe it on your app and listen to it on your headphones, if that makes sense. And you can adjust the headphone, um, you know, volume, and also the line out. Yeah, and you can just, you can set markers, as I said, and there are some other ways that you can, you know, set time, um, and there are some other options. But um, in terms of capturing audio, I would suggest that this is a, probably a pretty decent setup for a lot of creators. Uh, it allows you to have, you know, uh, a wireless go you, you know you can pick up something similar to this doesn't have to be uh, the road um, these wireless go to but at least this way it allows you to you know connect to the subject uh, with a lav uh, remotely and then you could use the DTS mic either on you know that someone giving an interview um, or on the subject itself so you have two you know, high quality um, separate audio channels going into the Zoom F3. And then you can record that and observe it also on your um, your uh, your app on your phone. So 
definitely I would suggest this uh, setup if you're interested. Uh, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.